Hey y'all, Dave here. What are we gonna be working on today? We're gonna do an oil change in the old Jaguar here. And this is a 2010 XKR with 5.0 in it. Pretty much the same process for a regular XK plus XF, XJ, pretty much anything Jag or Land Rover has made in the last 15 years. So let's get started. Gonna pop the hood. Right. Now, of course, this thing's got all this plastic crap under the hood. You gotta get it off. So grab it, and it pops right loose. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now right here is where your oil filter is. You gotta get this cap off. Now, pick you up one of these on Amazon or eBay, wherever. This is a what's the spec on this? 15 flute. I believe it's 15 flutes, uh, 90 millimeters across. I'll put a link down in the description. Now this is nice because you can either do a half inch ratchet, right? Half inch or, uh, oh, I thought it was three quarter. I guess it's actually uh, 11 sixteenths. Hang on. Now, let's try that again. The only thing I can find is my breaker bar, but that do. Just gonna twist it and break it, get it off. Doing turd. Right. And there is your filter. Now, now these cars are really damn picky on the oil. This is the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synth 520. Not the regular platinum, the Ultra Platinum. Now, you'll see on the back here, this meets. Chrysler, which is for these new, I think the 6.2 Hemis that are coming in the Hellcats and uh, Scat Packs. And then these couple Fords here, right? And these are all for the Coyotes. Oh, because that's basically what's in this damn car. But if you look up that spec, it'll go for the Jaguar, the XKR, all these new damn shags, and Land Rovers that need this fancy, fancy oil. Now, I pick up the Delco filter. They're really all about the same. You can go to O'Reilly and pay 60 freaking dollars for the Wix, or we can pick this up. Now, it comes with a new O-ring here that's going to go here on your uh, oil canister here, your, can your filter housing. And, of course, the filter itself is just going to pop out. There you go. Got the old one. We'll recycle that, right? And then goes the new. Now you'll see down in here, come on, get in there and focus. There we are, where's the damn lens? There we are. See down inside there, you've got those plastic clips. Make sure that these clips line up on one of those and won't go in all the way otherwise. Now, there's no O-ring on the bottom, but there is one here on the top. So make sure it's still in one piece. And let's clip her in. There we go. It's good and snug. Now, get a little pick, like this one. We're gonna get this old O-ring out. Don't stab yourself. Usually if I come outside, I'm gonna bleed on something. All right, we got our little oil on our hands here. Oh, dang it. Got a little oil on our hands here, so get this new one slipped on. Nice and easy. Make sure it's back in the same groove. Get a little oil on it so it'll tighten down nicely. Now, that's it. Let's go put it back in. All right, I'm trying to get a little closer here for y'all, but let's, uh, let's let all the oil off there. Now, you know, make sure your housing's good and clean. Get old oil out of there if you can. Okay. Pretty much just going to put it back in there, tighten her down. I have to hold this hose out just a hair. Come on now. Get threaded. 
There we go. Alright, you should be able to start that thing by hand. If you can't, it's in there wrong, you're gonna strip it. So, let's get it the rest of the way down. bottom out and just snug it now let's go to the other side we can do about our oil now on this side of the car got your oil cap as you can see they recommend castor oil right the trouble is you can't get any castor oil that actually meets the spec anymore so they used to, when this car was being sold they used to sell the ultra platinum uh, i think it was or the platinum, what was it, edge platinum or edge titanium? Shit, I can't remember. Well, cash oil don't make it anymore. So you have to make do with what you can get. You can get the Raven oil from overseas uh, for about a hundred bucks for eight quarts, but you can pick up the ultra platinum by pins oil for half that online. So now if we look down in here, where is it? There we are there's our oil cap but now you might be asking what's this little tube right here that's where you uh, suck it out of the oil pan let's hook up the vacuum pump suck that oil out now this here is my little vacuum extractor you can pick these guys up at your local auto parts store now the only trouble is this thing only holds about six and a half quarts and of course this car holds about eight and a half so we're gonna have to suck out about half of it. And of course it's measured on here too, right? If you notice these little lines, these are actually markings. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna suck it up here to about four quarts, maybe five, and then uh, dump it and refill it. We'll take our tip here. There it is. There's our tip. Plug it on there. Get pumping. Y'all can even see what I'm doing here. Look at that. Look at that oil coming on up. Now you don't have to keep pumping this. Once it builds vacuum, it'll start drawing. So you can watch it fill. do work without the koozie now these aren't the fastest things in the world as you may or may not be able to hear it is draining oil in there but i used to just give about five pumps and let her go until she ain't dribbling no more but this certainly beats having to get under the car especially on a car that's only three inches off the ground now these cars, you can get it from underneath. There's a skid plate that covers the whole entire bottom side of the front half of this car. There's about 20 fucking bolts to get that thing off. And then, and only then, can you see the drain plug. So take all that shit off, crawl around on the floor, or get you one of these, suck it right out the tube. You tell me. Yeah, one thing I forgot to do too is I usually take the rag wrap it around the opening of this thing just so that the rest of the cap isn't open and exposed while this is going on just to keep shit out from the engine pro tip all right we're getting up to about five quarts here so i've quit pumping i'm gonna wait for this thing to kind of equalize a little bit so the nice thing about these little guys and i'll show you here in a minute is that well one once once you're pumping you can actually pop the lever off this thing right and then the seal up here will still hold a vacuum so take that off now if you break the seal up here all this is going to drain back down the engine which is fine 
right? Uh, but uh, it also increases the likelihood of making a damn mess under the hood. So what I'd like to do is disconnect it here, pull the hose with me. And that way, ah, it sucks most of it up into the pan. All right, now we can hang on to this while we get this out of the way and go empty it. So now it's time to empty this little fella. Now it comes with two little accessories, if you will. This one is just a storage cap, keep crap out of it. And this one is a handy little spout for emptying into another bottle. So we're gonna disconnect this. And this all just press fits on here. It's not threaded, at least on this particular model. Ah, yeah, see, look at that loveliness. That would have been in your engine bay. We're gonna add on the spout. Just like a little teapot. And then I've got an old jug here that actually has markings on the side so we can see one, two, three, four, five quarts. Now, hopefully we'll be right at that. This way we, we can measure to see how much we've taken out. So, let's get filling. Glug, 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 glug. All right. Back for more second. So, second verse, same as first. Get our hose on there. Cover it up. Get our pump handle. And let her suck. <sighs> now, some of y'all probably wondered, how the hell do you know when to stop? Well, guess what? That same gurgling you heard earlier, and do it again. So when this thing gets done, you're gonna see air come up through all this and you're gonna hear it hissing down there at the end of the dipstick tube, right? So you'll know, you ain't got much left. You up to about, my second. One, two, three and a half, roughly. So, got about another quart to go. Cheers. Ooh. Oh. There she goes, folks. You hear the magic happening. That's it. Tries to get those last bits out. So that's it. There's no vacuum on here now. So let's pop it loose. Again, watch out because you're gonna have some pulling out dribbling. There's the rest of it. All right. Now, I've only got one extra jug over there. So what we're gonna have to do is add in a quarter of oil and then dump this so that we can figure out the total amount we extracted. All right guys, so again, we're looking at 8.15 quarts of Penzl Ultra Premium 5W20. Oh, bug. I ain't gonna lie, it's freaking hot out here. And now I've got my custom made funnel here because this actually makes it a little easier than some of the other funnels I have because it's very small end down here. So that actually will fit right there and hold itself. So. We know this is five quarts, so let's get around. Don't. Oh, shit, that didn't on forever. Ah, gotcha. We're gonna add another three quarts out of this one. Pour a little bit in, and then check our measurement. Let's see where we're at so far. Okay, that's right at half the jug. We're at 2.5, so let's give her another half quart. Eh, about there. Damn, I'm good. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Set that someplace safe. 
Don't forget your oil cap. Now, of course, before you put the cover back on, we're gonna fire it up and check to make sure that there's no leaks over there, or especially around the filter over there, um, before we put the cover back on. All right, y'all, so here's the fun part. We get to reset the oil life monitor. I'm gonna hit and hold the rear fog lamp button, and you're gonna hit the ignition without your foot on the brake, and you're gonna let go of this. Then you're gonna hit the trip button, and hit the rear fog light again, hold them both down for about 10 seconds. Now, if this works, you're gonna see up here, it's gonna say resetting service light, and then it'll finally, after about 10 seconds, it'll say service light reset, or service minder reset, however the hell it goes. So, all right, let's give it a shot and see if I know what the hell I'm talking about. Here we go. So, hit and hold the fog lamp. Ignition. Come on, damn it. Ignition, let go trip fog lamp resetting service mode here we go it actually worked i keep holding it ah uh, my fingers are getting slippery service mode reset hell yeah there we go folks that's a jigsaw puzzle took me about five times finally got a good one <laughs> all right so now you turn the ignition off and now, let's start the car up, make sure nothing's leaking. Ah, oh, music to my ears. Everything's looking good. No leaks, no smoke. Now, y'all probably wondering, where the hell's the dipstick at? Ha-ha, there isn't one. It's in the car. All right. So now I'm going to show you the nuances of checking the damn oil in these cars. The car has to be off for you to check it. And it's electronic. So we'll get in and just hit the button to turn the car on, but not the engine. Then you have to cycle through with the trip until you get to the oil. However, looky here. Not available. See handbook. Why is that? Well, that's easy because the car hasn't sat long enough. So... After you turn the car off, you have to let the damn thing sit. Now I'll find the amount of the exact time. I think it is two minutes uh, before it will allow you to check the damn oil level. Good old Shagor engineering. So I'll check the book and then in the meantime, it'll sit long enough and then we'll, and we'll, we'll actually check it. Be right back with you. All right, y'all. I was trying to recall how long it took. <laughs> it wasn't two minutes. It is. 10 minutes all right so while we're waiting on the rest of our oil our oil to stabilize i'm gonna go ahead and measure the rest of it that we pulled out just like the teapot what do we have with eh, just under five and we got three more so it wasn't too bad we about half quart low total. So now let's go see if damn car let's check the oil yet. Not a fail. Man, still got to wait. All right, so let's go ahead and get this cover back on while we're waiting. My crap out of the way. Now, there's four little locating tabs on the bottom of this thing, and there's four little ball studs on the top of the engine. Oh, there it is, there it is back there. So, yeah, it's kinda hard to see, but you'll know when you got it. Pretty much, if it's centered up on there, then it should pop right on. And just give it a little smack. There we go. God damn it! You gotta be kidding me! All right, y'all. I've literally let this car sit for about 20 minutes. So if it doesn't pop up this time, uh, this car's a liar. So let's hit that. Let's cycle through here. Speed. Yeah. Level okay. So we got it dead on balls. All right. Well, that's it, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, 
we about done for today. So, what did we learn? We learned that changing the oil on a Jaguar XK is pretty damn easy. Don't have to get under the car, you just suck it right out the top, so is the filter right on top. However, checking the oil level in a Jaguar is a pain in the ass, because there's no damn dipstick, and you gotta wait 10 minutes after you change oil to be able to tell there's enough oil in the damn thing. Hope y'all learned something. Again, thanks for watching. Powered by Dave. Hope y'all liked the video. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Leave me some info in the comments. Tell me how much you hate Jaguars. I'd love to hear it because uh, I'm on your side. Y'all have a good day.